What you guys today we're taking a look at how to use the USB BIOS flashback tool on your motherboard. This is an Asus motherboard and we're going to be using this to uh, use the BIOS flashback. So I've put the USB flash drive into my PC and I'm going to format it as FAT32. That's important so make sure you select FAT32 here and uh, give it a name. You don't have to give it a fancy name just call it BIOS or something like that then click start and it will do a quick format of that USB flash drive. Remember, all the data will be erased on that flash drive. So if you have any data on there, make sure you back it up before you format it. So let's go ahead. We've got that now formatted to FAT32. What we need to do now is head over to the motherboard manufacturer's website. In this case, mine is the Rogstrix B650E-I gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. Once you're onto your choice of motherboard manufacturer's website, go up to the support tab and click on it. This will take you to uh, the support page for your motherboard. In this case, we're going to be looking in driver and utility here, but there's a bunch of little tabs here that you can look at here. But we're going to be clicking on the driver and utility. From here, you'll see two options available, uh, driver and tools and BIOS and firmware. That's the one we want. So click on the BIOS and firmware. Down in the section here, I'm going to select my motherboard. And down here, you should now see a bunch of new BIOSes available for our motherboard. Now, I know my motherboard BIOS is outdated because it's a brand new motherboard. And normally, they are way outdated from the factory. This will help with stability and also help with uh, memory and CPU support and stuff like that. Bug fixes, it will do all that for you. So I'm going to select the latest BIOS. I don't want a beta BIOS. But it's important that you select the right BIOS for your motherboard. Once you're here, you should see some information about what you need to do. In my case, it says before running the USB BIOS flashback tool, please rename the BIOS file to whatever name it says on your website using the BIOS renamer tool, which comes with the download. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And once it's downloaded, we need to undo this file, which will be a zip file. So we need to unpack it and extract it. And we can extract it to our USB flash drive, just like this. I'll show you how to do it. You can either extract them straight to the USB flash drive, or you can just drag and drop them over like I'm going to do here. So I want these two files here. So I'm going to go into my USB flash drive, which we just formatted to FAT32, and we're going to drag them over to our USB flash drive. From here, you can use the renamer tool to rename the BIOS file, which is in that package and you can rename it to whatever the program renames it to because it needs to be renamed uh, to the requirements for the BIOS flash to be successful. And you can see here, this file has been renamed to, you can see the name there on the screen. Yours will be different, but it's now renamed that file. And now we're ready for using this file to flash our BIOS. You can delete the rename at all afterwards and then move on to the next step. Now, before we continue, I just want to say a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then you can check out the links in the video description. Click on one of those and click the Buy Now button and use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on your purchases. Once you receive your key, you'll be able to activate your version of Windows in the Activation Center. There we are, we're back at the PC. So what I need to do now is shut down the PC that we're gonna flash the BIOS of. So you can see I've just shut down this uh, PC here. Now I need to insert the USB flash drive, which we've just created with our BIOS on here. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see mine has a little square around it saying BIOS. That's the one the USB flash drive has to be inserted into so it can successfully flash the BIOS with the flashback tool. So there's a much easier way to flash your BIOS inside the actual BIOS itself, and that's the way I recommend doing it. This way is normally recommended for people that want to upgrade a CPU and they don't have another CPU to hand. So you can see here now, down the bottom here, there is a BIOS flashback button, which we need to hold down. Now, once you hold this down for three seconds, it will start to blink or flash, and that means it's now starting to work and you just leave this and it will work away and start to flash the BIOS on that motherboard. 
Do not pull the USB flash drive out while it's flashing the BIOS because you will brick your motherboard. Next up, once the blinking light has stopped, you can then remove the USB flash drive and you have successfully flashed your BIOS. If we look at it here, BIOS version 1224, that is the latest version that I've just flashed the BIOS to. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. If you need any help, then pop on our Discord server and we can help you out over there. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.